So let's talk about our Pixel 6a performance. We used Intuitu Benchmark to conduct this test. And on the Pixel 6a, we got a score of 719828. And it actually outperformed our Google Pixel 6 Pro, which using the same benchmarking app, we ran them at the exact same time, got a score of 709758. Really impressive stuff if you ask me. What's so exciting about this A-series lineup of Pixel phones is we have the same Google Tensor system on a chip found in both the 6A and the 6 Pro and obviously the Google 6 for that matter. So the value is tremendously there on this A device, I would say, compared to all the other A devices in the past from that one metric alone. And in this case, I don't know why in this particular test, we actually exceeded the performance of the 6 Pro, but they're very similar to each other, as you would expect, again, because they feature the same Google Tensor chip. But let's look at a breakdown of the scores for both these devices. So for the Pixel 6a, we have our CPU score here of 1962.41. On the 6 Pro, we got a CPU score of 1788.03. For our GPU, for the 6A, we got a score of 2836.69. And for our 6 Pro, we got a score of 2703.84. For memory, the 6A, we got a score of 1066.55. Whereas for the 6 Pro, we got a score of 1144.46. And lastly, for our UX, the 6A got a score of 13.32.63, and the 6 Pro got a score of 14.61.25, both running Android 12. So how does the 6A compare to the competition? Let's look at the ranking. So at the top, we got the Motorola Edge 30 Pro, the Mi 12 Pro. Rounding out the top 10, we got the Galaxy S22 Ultra. A lot of Galaxy devices right here, OnePlus 10 Pro. Sony phones, Realme, Galaxy S21. So here's the Pixel 6a showing up right here at number 36. And then a little bit further down, we got the Google Pixel 6 Pro and the Google Pixel 6. Again, all showing very similar scores there. But this app puts it in line with the Galaxy S21, the OnePlus 9 Pro. Galaxy S21 FE. So you get the idea there. And you can get a feel for how this ranks compared to some of the competition.